SNB 180 grain 10 millimeter JHP bare, bare denim after, or bare, bare denim, bare gel. Okay, so I shot the piss out of this block, not just because I'm a lousy shot with the, <laughs> with the pistol, uh, although that's part of it, um, but because several of these bullets exited the side of the block here. However, we were able to capture a couple. Uh, this one looks like it didn't penetrate very deeply, but it actually bounced back along its track. The end of the track is there. It actually left fragments further along than the bullet went, which of course, obviously, we know that the bigger chunks tend to get deepest. So we know it got to here. It just bounced along the track back there. Hopefully that's the one that was on the high speed. That'd be cool to watch. In any case, the penetration depths are 18.2, 15.1, and 18.7. Now, one thing that really stands out here is that you see all this fragmentation along the track. And that seems to be pretty pretty consistent. Is that a bad thing? Well, in a way, yes. Um, generally speaking, the experts tell us that we're not looking for fragmentation in pistol bullets. But to put a finer point on that, fragmentation isn't advantageous in pistol bullets uh, because it reduces the amount of weight the bullet has which can lead to inadequate penetration. That's not the case here. So is it ideal? Hell no, not even close. Uh, these pieces of bullet could have been part of the main bullet if they had been retained, if they had been part of the expansion, they could have cut a wider track and penetrated the appropriate depth. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they fail outright. It just means that it doesn't really matter much either way that that while it might look cool and it might look like that's really devastating, it's important to note that these fragments are all pretty much generally right along the main track there. They don't deviate off of the main track, which means that they're not really improving wounding in any substantive way. It's just messy. So it's neither positive nor negative. It's just a thing that happened. These bullets, all of them, penetrated adequately and they expanded. So from that perspective, they're a pass. Let's see what they look like. Oh, one of these days I'm gonna slice the crap out of myself. So that looks fairly typical for a budget jacketed hollow point, something that's not bonded. We see these real sharp meteor-like jacket petals sticking off here. The front of it's very soft and sm soft, very smooth. Let's take a look at the other ones. I just know I'm gonna slice myself up one of these days. But they all look pretty close. They all look very similar. And you can see how it would be easy for a bullet to retain or lose some of these chunks here by just a thin margin. And that could make a difference in the depth of penetration like between this one and this one, between the 16 and the 18 inches. So we can, we can see the reason that this might be less than consistent, but yeah, that's adequate performance, if a bit deep. We'll get some photos of these when we get home, but uh, 
there you go. We'll get some photos of these when, when I get home. I'll take some photos of these when I get home, but that gives you a bit of an idea of what's going on here. Let's see how it does in heavy clothing. <laughs> 